Yeah. All right, James. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is James Ingram. Uh, I'm a junior political science major uh, with a philosophy of law minor. Um, right now, I serve as the academic coordinator in SA. Um, I work with the over 20 academic clubs that are on campus. Um, how I got involved in SA, I really started out in the clubs. I was um, an active member in uh, a lot of the political clubs, UB, uh, or college Republicans, college Democrats, UB conservatives. Um, last year, I wanted to expand a little of my involvement, so I joined the student assembly, which I served um, I, as an assembly member for um, all of last year. At the end of last year is when I ran for academic coordinator, which is what I'm doing now, and obviously as a coordinator, I'm also a member of the Senate, so I've been doing that. Um, a little bit about my platform, I want to start off by some ways that I think that we can uh, make the Student Association run a little more efficiently. Um, I want to ensure that each student gets the most value from their mandatory student activity fee that they have to pay each semester. So one way I'm going to do this is I'm going to end off-campus uh, staff orientation. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start hosting it on campus. Not only will this save money, but I think it's going to be beneficial to our staff to be trained in the environment that they're actually going to be working in. Um, an example of like something how this is going to help the office run more efficiently. Um, we're going to have we're going to make sure that our office personnel has access to club listers. So if you go in th and want to join a club, they're going to add you directly to that club listserv. Right now, you have to fill out a form, put it in a mailbox. They get lost along the way. Um, sometimes they get forgotten about. This way, you're going to start getting updated with uh, club information immediately once you're on that listserv. Um, the other thing that we're going to do to make uh, the office run more efficiently is we're going to coordinate our e-board hours. We're going to make sure that there are times in the day that myself, my vice president Evan, and my treasurer Sade are all in the office. So for coordination purposes, for uh, if you have questions and concerns, we will be there. To, if we, you need us to sign off on something, we will be there. Um, now, I, I'm not going to lie, I thought that Evan was going to be doing this with me, so I was going to pass it off to him here. But really quickly, I do want to just talk about one idea that uh, won't be uh, overlapping with Evan too much that we want to do for the clubs. Um, I met with Mike Lewis from Student Life, and we're gonna, next year we're going to have the clubs turn in track sheets completely online using UB Linked. So this will allow clubs to look back at old track sheets. Uh, it'll allow coordinators to have access to them. Uh, members of finance committee. Um, it'll just make the process go a lot easier uh, and help uh, future years uh, go smoothly as well. Um, there's a number of programs that SA has um, done in the past or has uh, implemented last year that I think uh, would be great to um, either bring back or continue for the future year. Um, one of these examples is the essay book exchange. Uh, what we want to do is at the end of each semester, we will have um, an essay table in the union where students can come and exchange their books from the past semester and uh, get new books for their uh, upcoming semester. Uh, we'd also like, we stopped this and we'd like to bring it back, is um, the essay film series rewards program. It'll work something like students get a punch card if they go to a certain amount of essay movies, they'll be rewarded with a prize from SA. Um, in the past, SA has done tutorial type classes to teach clubs or students about certain aspects of SA. We want to modernize this process and do videos instead because even say you say we did host a class and a student missed it, then they were kind of out of luck. This way they'll be able to access it whenever they want. And these videos will cover uh, topics such as how to maneuver the SA Finance Department, how to reserve a room uh, in the Student Union, um, how to just in general meet your club requirements, which we want to standardize for the next year. Right now, it's a little up in the air. Each coordinator kind of decides what they want to count. Next year, we want to make sure that it is crystal clear to each club what exactly counts as SA participation, what counts as community service, what counts as fundraising. We don't want there to be a question about that. We want every club to know what they're getting into and how to meet their requirements so that their budgets, uh, so that they can get budget increases. 15 seconds. Yeah. Okay, really quickly, the airport I, uh, shuttle idea, we love it. We're gonna continue it next year. Um, Party at the Point, the tailgate series. 
uh, will be the same thing. We want to expand upon that and make sure that that stays uh, continuing next year as well. Thank you. Okay, we're going to open it up for questions. Sorry, I'm grabbing the water. Sure. My first one would be, um, it's an interesting idea introducing videos like that to SA. We did hear kind of a similar modernization idea last year from Nick Johns talking about the website and revamping the website. Yeah. But even during his limited time in office, that the website did not improve at all. Yeah. Have you taken any concrete steps or figured out how you're going to do these videos? Yeah, the videos, I think, can be done um, pretty pretty low to no budget. Like, honestly, what I would envision is this is something that we can do. Either we have eboard or staff members um, film it working with, like, the pro staff. Um, for example, say our finance video, we'll have Steven help walk us through exactly how do you fill out a PO, how do you do, um, how do you, how do you pre-encumber for something, how do you pick up your check, where do you pick up your check, stuff like that. Um, and honestly, I would envision this as being something like just a YouTube video where maybe the link is up on, um, up on the essay website, but that it's easy, you just click it and, you know, simple as watching a YouTube video. Next question. Say um, the Student Association has had an interesting relationship with the Spectrum. How do you see this relationship moving forward? Yeah, the, um, you, I mean, some of you guys know I'm a big fan of the Spectrum. I think that the Spectrum has a really important role in uh, keeping the eboard and the essay as a whole kind of like on its toes. Um, when, there's, when there's a problem, you know, I trust that the Spectrum is going to point that out and be like, look, this isn't going well, this needs to change. Um, one thing that I like that you guys usually do each year is you do a follow-up thing. So right now I'm talking about my platform ideas. I know that next year there's going to be an article coming out that's going to be kind of like a checklist whether I completed those ideas or not. And I think that's really important for students to be able to see uh, that I'm carrying through on what I want to do and that, uh, you know, essays running smoothly. What would you say is the thing you most like that Sam McMahon has done and the thing you least like? The thing that I like most about what Sam has done is the uh, airport shuttle. I really like that. It, it was a really, it's tough to come out, to come up with good ideas that the essay can benefit every student. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of um, times when you hear essay, a lot of the services are mostly club, are, are uh, you know, oriented towards the clubs. This is something that all students could take advantage of. It's a free service that SA was able to do, and I and I really liked that, and I think it's been working uh, smoothly this year. Um, as far as what Sam has implemented that I don't like, I can I extend this to more of just an eboard in general, a broader, or you want it to be? I would say apply it to the presidency, because that's the role you're running for. To the presidency. Sam, I'm just. Just because, all right, here's what I'm thinking. The e board as a whole has been very strict on students and clubs. Like, SA is a very professionally, is a, a professional organization. It's, it's serious. We take what we do seriously. Uh, you know, we're helping to oversee and uh, spend a, and, uh, make sure that a $3.6 million budget is being spent how and utilized how it should be. I think we've been a little too harsh on some of this, like some of the policies that are in place. Like for example, for club budgets this year, if they didn't turn in a budget packet on time, on the day that it was due, clubs are automatically knocking a budget. That's something that I don't think, think is fair. I recognize that you have to have standards, but we are a student organization and there are times that we have to recognize that look that's not fair if a club had something come up maybe they had tests maybe they had this and couldn't get a budget packet in on a day i don't think it's fair to completely take their budget away and to limit what they're going to be able to do for students in the uh, in the future year um, you talked about like i said the modernization um but you also said putting the trash sheet online and those kind of things. Have you looked into actually integrating those things into the current website as it is right now? Yeah, so um, like, like I said, I, I went and uh, met with Mike Lewis the other day in Student Life, and he gave me a really good overview on how we can use UB Linked um, to do this track sheet idea. And 
you can use UV link to create like tons of different forms. So basically we'd create a form that's similar to the track sheet. Clubs would be able to submit it. And honestly, it would be as simple as just putting, um, embedding the link into the essay website, like something like click here to fill out your track sheet. You'd click it, you'd sign in with your UBIT name and you'd be able to fill it out and submit it just like that. Next question. Yeah. Um, you said you liked Sam's uh, shuttle idea to the airport. One of the reasons we liked it too when he pitched it to us in the fall is because it was a way to reach out to all the students, not just students involved in essay. Yeah. Recently we published an editorial saying we didn't think it was right that the Senate voted to um, no longer have half of its senators representing off-campus students because we think off-campus students are sort of underrepresented. Do you have any ideas coming into your, if you get elected, coming into presidency, um, more ideas besides the shuttle about how to reach out to off-campus students. Yeah, I, I do have good ideas about how to reach up, not necessarily just off-campus students, but just to how to get students who aren't regularly up on the third floor in uh, 350 in our main office, how do, we, how do we get these students involved in SA? How do we get them excited about SA? So one of the things that um, I'm excited that we're going to be able to do is open an office on South Campus. Right now, that's, um, you know, we, and you do, you have a ton of off-campus students living around South Campus who attend classes on South. So we're going to be able to open an office in the um, Harriman Hall. And uh, what I, like, that'll just be a place that students can go to, um, you know, pick up tickets for SA events where they don't have to come all the way to North Campus to do that. Um, Another thing that we want to do with the tickets is we're, I don't think that you should have to always have you, I don't think you should always have to come and seek out uh, the student association on the third floor of the union. If you want a ticket to an event, we're going to be tabling around the union. We'll be in NSC, uh, just making tickets more readily of, available to be distributed. We want to do genre polling for fests in the same way. We want to be around campus. Um, so that students don't have to come to us for everything. We want to go out to the students and provide these services and, um, and reach out to a new block of students that might not typically be reached out to. Yeah. Let's do a final question, sir. Um, is having the South Campus office something the essay is doing as a whole or something you're initiating? Um, I, in my meeting with Mike Lewis, I talked, um, I talked to him and asked if it would be possible. I, I do not know if SA is looking to do that as a whole from, from what I know. I think this is something that, um, I, that I would be the first person to be talking about that I've heard. Um, yeah, so. Okay. Thanks, James. All right, thank you, guys.